hello everyone in this video we will learn about the various relationships that can be used for the computation of settlement due to primary and secondary consolidation so what kind of formula we will use for solving the for solving a problem generally depends on the values given in numerical so first if the value of initial and final void ratio is given in the problem then we can use this relationship which is delta h upon h naught is equal to delta e upon 1 plus e naught where delta h is settlement due to primary consolidation and h naught is the thickness of the layer for which settlement is required and delta e is change in void ratio and uh, e naught is uh, basically the initial void ratio so using this relationship we can calculate the settlement of the layer due to primary consolidation now second is if the value of coefficient of volume compressibility that is denoted by mv is given then we can use this relationship which is delta h is equal to mv into delta sigma bar into h naught where mv as we seen uh, is the coefficient of volume compressibility and delta sigma bar is the increment or in stress uh, of the layer for which settlement is required or it can also be uh, considered as the change in effective stress and h naught is the thickness of the layer and now if the value of void ratio and compression index that is cc is given then we can use this relationship but before that uh, this relationship is basically valid for normally consolidated soil now what is normally consolidated soil so if the stress acting on the acting on a soil element is uh, if the stress acting if the stress presently acting on a soil element is basically the maximum stress that the soil element is subjected in its stress history then the soil is considered as normally consolidated but if the stress presently acting on the soil element is less than the stress that has that had acted on the soil element in the past then the soil is considered as over consolidated soil so this equation is valid for normally consolidated soil now let's see the equation so delta h that is settlement is equal to cc upon 1 plus e naught into h naught into log base 10 bracket sigma naught plus delta sigma upon sigma naught where cc is uh, compression index e naught is initial void ratio h naught is thickness of the layer and sigma naught is uh, initial overburden pressure and delta sigma is increment in the pressure and sigma naught is again the initial overburden pressure now we move on to over consolidated soils now for over consolidated soil generally two cases are there first one is if pre consolidation pressure that is sigma pc is greater than sigma naught plus delta sigma then this equation can be used for the calculation of settlement which is uh, delta h is equal to cr upon 1 plus e naught h into h naught into log base 10 sigma naught plus delta sigma upon sigma naught here all the things are similar except this uh, here we use this recompression index instead of the compression index which was used for in case of uh, normally consolidated soil now second case is if sigma that is pre consolidation pressure is greater than initial overburden pressure but it is less than uh, but it is less than the summation of initial overburden pressure and uh, stress increment then settlement is calculated in two parts as shown in this equation which is delta h is equal to cr upon 1 plus e naught into h naught into log base 10 sigma pc upon sigma naught plus second part is cc upon 1 plus e naught into h naught into log base 10 bracket sigma naught plus delta sigma upon sigma pc so here first part is for recompression part of the curve and second part is for virgin compression part of the curve so for recompression part of the curve we use recompression index and for virgin compression part of the curve we use compression index so in this manner we solve the, the numerical for over consolidated soils now based on our discussion let's let's solve few examples the first one is this so this numerical was asked in gate in the year 2008 now let's read the question question is a 4 meter thick layer of normally consolidated clay has an average void ratio of 
its compression index is 0.6 and coefficient of consolidation is 1 meter square per year. If the increase in pressure due to foundation load on the clay layer is equal to the existing effective overburden pressure, then the change in thickness of the clay layer is and the answer is required in the units of mm. So here it is given that the clay layer is normally consolidated. So clay layer is normally consolidated and for normally consolidated as we have seen earlier we use this equation which is delta H is equal to CC upon 1 plus E naught into H naught log base 10 sigma naught plus delta sigma upon sigma bar. So let's first let's write the things which are given to us in the numerical. So thickness of the clay layer which is H naught is given as 4 meter. Now next next is this void ratio which is E naught is given as 1.30. Now this compression index CC is given as 0.6. Now here it is given that if the increase in pressure due to foundation load on the clay layer is equal to the existing effective overburden pressure. So this statement means that the increase in pressure which is delta sigma bar increase in pressure is equal is equal to the foundation is equal to the if the increase in pressure due to foundation load on clay layer is equal to the existing effective overburden pressure means this stress increment is equal to the existing overburden pressure delta sigma is equal to sigma naught now using these values let's solve this delta h is equal to cc 0.6 upon 1 plus 1.3 into this thickness of the layer is 4 into log base 10 sigma naught we can write delta sigma as sigma naught because this stress increment is same as existing overburden pressure upon sigma naught this 0.6 into 4 is equal to 2.4 divided by 2.3 into log base 10 this becomes 2 sigma naught upon sigma naught See, this sigma naught sigma naught will get cancelled now 2.4 divided by 2.3 is equal to 1.043 into log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010 so this delta H comes as 2.3010 is equal to 0 0.0.314 meter but we are required to calculate this value in mm so delta H will be 314 mm so this is our answer now let's move on to next numerical which was asked in IES in the numerical is at a reclamation site for which the soil strata is shown in figure below a 3 meter thick layer of fill material is to be laid instantaneously on top surface if MV which is coefficient of volume compressibility for clay is 2.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 meter square per kilonewton then the consolidation settlement of clay layer due to placing of the fill material will be so as you can see in the figure this fill material which is of 3 meter thickness is placed instantaneously on the existing layer and because of the placement of this fill material we are required to calculate the settlement which will take place in the clay layer so as here we are given the value of coefficient of volume compressibility so for that as we have seen earlier the equation we use for the calculation of settlement is this delta H is equal to MV into delta sigma into H naught so here the value of H naught which is thickness of the clay layer is 10 meter and uh, the value of uh, MV is given as 2.2 into 10 raised to power minus 4 meter square per kilonewton 
here we have to calculate the value of delta sigma so here stress increment whatever stress increment is there that is because of the placement of this fill layer so the value of uh, effective stress of this fill layer will be equal to this unit weight gamma gamma b into the thickness of the layer the yeah, height of this fill which which we can denote as z so it will be equal to here gamma b is given as 21 kN per meter cube so it will be 21 into this thickness which is 3 so it is delta sigma is equal to 63 kN per meter square so we can put these values in this equation 2.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 into 63 into 10 meter so let's solve this 2.2 into 63 into 10 it comes as 1386 here power is 10 raised to minus 4 so it will be equal to 0.1386 meter this is in terms of meter now if we write it in terms of millimeter then it will be 138.6 millimeter delta h that is settlement so this will be our final answer now we move on to the next numerical which is a stratum of clay is 2 meter thick and has an initial overburden pressure of 50 kN per meter square at its middle determine the final settlement due to an increase in pressure of 40 kN per meter square at the middle of clay layer the clay is over consolidated with a pre consolidation pressure of 75 kN per meter square and the values of CR is 0.05 cc is 0.25 and initial void ratio is 1.40 so here it is the condition of over consolidation over consolidated soil so here we have to check whether the value of this uh, pre consolidation pressure is greater than the summation of sigma naught plus delta sigma or it is greater than sigma naught but less than summation of sigma naught plus delta sigma which are the two cases as we had as we have discussed earlier so let's check it here the value of over pre consolidation pressure is uh, 75 kN per meter square and the value of initial overburden pressure is given as 50 kN per meter square and the increment in overburden pressure is given as 40 kN per meter square so as we can see here this pre consolidation pressure is greater than initial overburden pressure but it is less than the summation of initial overburden pressure and increment in overburden pressure so we will use this formula as we have discussed earlier which is this settlement is equal to CR upon 1 plus E naught into H naught log base 10 sigma PC upon sigma naught plus CC upon 1 plus E naught into H naught log base 10 sigma naught plus delta sigma upon sigma C sorry here it will be equal to sigma C sigma PC which is pre consolidation pressure so as we know this first part is for recompression part of the curve and second part is for virgin compression part of the curve so let's put the values in the equation above so rho f that is final settlement will be equal to cr which is given as 0 0.05 upon 1 plus e naught which is 1.4 h naught so thickness of the clay layer is given as 2 meter so 2 into log base 10 sigma pc which is 75 upon initial overburden pressure which is 50 plus cc which is 0 0.25 upon 1 plus 1 1.4 into 2 to log base 10 
sigma naught plus delta sigma will be 50 plus 40 that is 90 upon sigma pc 75 so let's solve this so 0 0.05 into 2 will be 0 0.1 1 divided by 2.4 to log base 10 so 75 divided by 50 will be equal to 1.5 plus 0.25 into 2 will be equal to 0.5 divided by 2.4 10 90 divided by 75 will be equal to 1.2 so here log 1.5 is 0.176 into 0.1 divided by 2.4 comes as 7.33 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 plus log 1.2 into 0.5 divided by 2.4 and it comes as it comes as 0 0.0164 and we can write it as 16.49 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 so if we find the summation of this it will be 16.49 plus 7.33 is equal to 23.82 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meters or we can write it in terms of millimeter as 23.82 millimeter so this is our final answer now we move on to secondary consolidation so for the calculation of settlement due to secondary consolidation we use this equation which is Rho S is equal to C alpha upon 1 plus E of P into H naught into log base 10 T2 by T1 where C alpha is coefficient of secondary consolidation which is usually given in the uh, numerical and E of P is final void ratio at the end of primary consolidation and this T1 is time at the end of primary consolidation and T2 is time at which the value of secondary consolidation is required so these times are basically in terms of days so using this equation we can solve the we can find the value of uh, settlement due to secondary consolidation thank you I hope this video was helpful to you thank you